You could say this is yet another loss for the local families who are still grieving their loved ones. Yeah, they just want to remember mm -hmm. their lives lost. KSET has identified six families who say a local businesswoman took thousands of dollars to make them headstones that were never delivered. KSET investigates Courtney Friedman has been looking into the company Angelic Monuments and also takes us through the claims that have left families heartbroken once again. 24-year-old Rebecca Terrence was so many things. She was a cheerleader. She ran cross country. She participated in several pageants. So she was a beauty queen. <laughs> but most importantly, she was a pillar of happiness in her tight-knit family. She died of fentanyl poisoning in October of 2022. A month later, her mother, Adriana Terrence, ordered this headstone from Angelic Monuments in San Antonio. She was told it would take 9 to 12 months to make and deliver. 16 months later, Rebecca's grave still lays bare. It makes me feel like I have let her down by not having a headstone in at the plot. Terrence paid Angelic Monuments owner Elena Moreno $3,278 up front, and Terrence said that check was cashed. My name is Elena with Angelic Monuments. Southside First has helped me in my business. When looking her up, we found this YouTube video from last year, suggesting Moreno's business was at some point running and getting resources from the Southside First Economic Development Council. We called the council to find out if they had heard of any complaints, and they said they had not. This is a sales agreement from Angelic Monuments uh, from, located at Commercial Avenue. That's where Terrence first met Moreno, but for six months now, that building has belonged to another business. Angelic Monuments' Google page acknowledges the move, saying it was a temporary closure due to family emergency and will resume as soon as possible. But it never did resume. The current business owner at the Commercial Avenue building told us Moreno's customers have showed up at his door looking for her and their headstones. Even though I was offering her grace, you know, because of the timeline, um, I was also starting to get worried. At that nine month mark, Terrence got in touch with me. I talked to Moreno on the phone twice in the span of two months. Once in October 2023, when she told me she had ordered the headstone. Then again in November, when she told me she would give Terrence a full refund. That was the last time Moreno would respond to either of us. We found the official document showing Angelic Monument's certificate of ownership. On that document was another address, so we went there, finding a row of headstones along the side yard. Is Elena Moreno here? No, no, no. Does she live here? Oh, no. Okay. When Moreno continued advertising on her Facebook page, I left a comment. Still no reply. The three numbers we found for her are disconnected or not accepting calls. This mailbox is not currently accepting messages. She did not respond to my Instagram message, and at last check, she deleted that Facebook page. When Terrence and I looked oh, for the page, yeah. we were stunned to oh, find yeah, something yeah. else. A post warning awesome. about Moreno's business. Oh, Look yes. At that. It says yes. PSA. I had not seen this before. This is newer. Yes, actually, that's true. Yeah. I see, had... this is February 2024. Yes. So this has just happened. When Angela Diano's stepson Josh died, they bought a headstone in February 2023 and never got it. Diano led us to three other families who say they also lost their money. Plus, a KSAT viewer who reached out to us separately about her husband's headstone. That adds up to six families to a total of almost $26,000. Then we checked out the Better Business Bureau page to find five complaints against Angelic Monuments in just the last year. The BBB sent us a statement saying, in part, Currently, BBB has assigned the business an F rating based on numerous customer complaints filed against the company in the last few months. Three of these complaints are regarding issues that BBB classifies as a serious complaint with customers. They're keeping an eye out to determine if they need to open an official investigation, but Terrence doesn't want to wait that long. I filed a small claim suit and... Okay. I've got the official receipt with a case number. And you filed this today? Yes, I filed that today. Okay. Morena will be served and Terrence will get a court date. She's holding on to a sliver of hope that Morena will show up. She should have a conscience about taking people's money. I didn't have money to just throw away. While she tries to come up with a plan B, she continues to visit Rebecca. When I do visit her, I'm up. I always tell her oh, I'm still fighting to get her her headstone. We don't have one one way or another. Courtney Friedman.
KSAT 12 News. It is not right. Several families say they have filed police reports. We have looked for any current criminal reports, but KSAT can find no record that Elena Moreno has actually ever been criminally charged, nor did we find any civil judgments. So that being said, if you've paid for an angelic monuments headstone and you haven't received it, the Better Business Bureau wants you to tell them about that. You can file, you can call, or you can file a complaint online. We have that link for you on our website, ksat.com, and we hope that those families find some sort of peace. Thanks for watching KSAT. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with San Antonio's latest news and weather.